Hey guys, Robbie here at RV Sales Borg, and today I'm showing you a very cool uh, Class C motorhome. This is a 2022 Jayco Red Hawk. It's the 31F, so 31 foot model. It's got a bunkhouse in it. Um, and this guy has the new Ford Godzilla V8. So it's a 7.3 liter V8. Um, I don't know the specs perfectly yet, but from what I've read, they're making like almost 500 horsepower and a lot of foot pounds of torque, but um, a great motor. The previous owner was saying he's getting about the same fuel mileage that the V10s get, so a lot of that varies on, on the driver. Um, but no, no downside to this new motor. It's all upside from what I've seen and what I've read. Um, so very cool, I'm happy to have one here. Um, I can't wait to take it out and drive it and see um, the differences, because the power is, on uh, on paper it's it's quite a bit more um, we're on the 450 chassis i think we're towing about 8,000 pounds behind it if you choose to or anything less um, that's up to you obviously pretty much brand new tires this thing has like 2800 miles on it like 2800 miles on it um, and they come from the, they're built in elkhart indiana by the time they get to the west coast the brand new ones have 2300 so it was very very lightly used um, their loss year gain you know the people already took that initial hit for you so we're gonna have it priced right um, comparing it to the other 22s on the market it'd be silly not to go for the one that's been slightly used um, there's no signs of it being used other than a little dirt here and there but they get that dirty sitting on the lot brand new so anyway i think it'd be silly to go buy a new one when this kind of stuff's available to you um, but we do have the side-mounted cameras. Let's plant some of these features, a lot of them on these new ones. Side-mounted camera, so you flip your blinker on, it'll shoot down the side of the rig on your backup screen there, or your monitor there, backup monitor there, and uh, so you won't have blind spots going down the road. Uh, 4,000 watt owning uh, gas generator down there, running off your regular gas tank, just like your motor does. Um, if you can't tell, a big flip and slide. Um, basically the full length of the rig, What's nice about it too is it's it's a big, big slide. It's not overly deep. And um, the reason I think that's such a nice thing is when it's in, the rig's still functional. I, I've seen so many of these full wall slides. Yes, they're amazing when they're out, but then they go in and you can't use the rig. Um, so kind of the best of both worlds here. You have that big, deep slide and it's still a very functional unit while you're in travel mode. Um, of course, it's a dually in the back. We got some storage here. Um, I think I should. It's nothing really to write home about. I don't want to write. Well, whatever. I'll just open it. I'll make these videos longer, I guess. Storage. Um, this one I'm not going to open. That's just for. Uh, actually, whatever. I think it's batteries. Let's see. I should know. Oh, no. Just storage for a power cable. Um, and outlets there, cable hookups. And then here, that's just another box of nothing. I'm gonna skip it. Um, of course, dually in the rear. Um, easy access to your black and gray valve right there in your dump station. Here, this one's more important. I'll open this one. Oh, I don't have them staged. I just literally just got this thing in today, so you're seeing it the way I got it. Um, hot and cold water for your outdoor shower there. You can turn on your water pump so you don't have to walk inside to turn that thing on. Um, and then makes it really nice and easy for you can winterize um, how to fill water a lot of different ways where you don't have to be plugging into different spots to fill your tank or to use city water it's all right there you just switch those around and those two in the back if you can see them those are your low point drains for hot and cold water so when it comes time to winterize super duper easy um, and then another low point drain there so that's for your internal system this is I'm guessing for your holding tanks there um, we have the bumper here that does have storage for your sewage hose in there. Um, nice window on the back. You do have that smallest profile camera I've ever seen, but it's a little backup camera up there. Um, again, about, I think it's 8,000 pounds that they hitch here. Pardon me, 7,500. Uh, with the seven pin hookup so you can control brakes on the trailer. Um, observation deck up top, so you've got the ladder. You can walk on it. Just be careful, it hurts when you fall. This is probably our biggest storage on the rig here, at least outside storage on the rig. Good space in there and a really nice like liner they put in it. Nice and easy to keep clean. We've got the big powered awning up top. Uh, it does have a wind sensor on it too, so if you're out and about and you're not near your rig and the wind picks up, it'll send itself back in to keep it from getting damaged. And it has a nice LED strip underneath it. When those things are out during the evening, um, it reflects off the canvas so well and it just gives you this really nice kind of glowing area down below. I love it. I think that's the best part about having motorhomes is, is you know, using it that way. Um, propane hookup for a grill if you want to put one out here. 
more storage there, water hose that never got used. Again, this thing's basically brand new. I mean, I can't say legally it's not brand new, but it's basically brand new. A um, couple outdoor speakers here. Um, and just really nice, again, patio space. Let's see what we got here. It's locked. The last one I'm gonna open, then we're just gonna go inside. More storage, power hookups in there for a TV or something outside if you wanted. And this should just be our propane. Yeah, it's our propane tank. I know, um, even the handles are different. This is not the kind of handle you're used to seeing on the Jayco's and stuff like that, but kind of nice. I guess if you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't discriminate against you anymore. Um, come on in, take a look at this bunkhouse. Um, before you make it all the way in, I always like to point out where controls are for these things, right by the door where it should be auto level. So you just press a button, walk away, and it'll level itself out, run your awning out, um, you know, lights, power to your speakers and things like that, it's all right here by the door, um, just so you can work it from inside or outside. Uh, come on in, I'll show you some more. Class C, so we have our nice big bunk up here, nothing in its way. So it's as big as a Class C bed really can get up here. You got the TV on a mount, so this thing will swivel any direction you want it to, come out a ways. Um, you got the nice little ladder there. A little different, you're not used to seeing this on Class C's either. These chairs swivel. It's a tight space, but those chairs do swivel. Um, and that's what those little cushions up top are for, so that when you're sitting that way, facing this way, um, you're more raised up, so you're not you know, putting your feet up in your chest. Um, big old monitor there, that's what they're using for the head units now. Um, I'm sure it does everything. Navigation, Bluetooth, um, it's your backup camera. I'm sure there is a ton of features in that thing. So um, we'll learn together and, and figure out what's in there. Below it, you have a USB port and USB type C port. Um, you do have a battery boost button there that'll tie your housey, house, housey, your chassis and house batteries together um, in case you need to jump it either way, you know, to start your generator or to start the motor. Um, you can jump yourself that way, but really nicely set up. Let me show you the odometer on this thing is ridiculous. This might be the lowest mile rig I've ever had in here. 2,847, not many. And listen, she sounds good. She's not loud. But she got a nice little roar to her. Yeah. Yeah, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I'm very excited to hopefully someone comes and test drives it so I can drive it. Um, dinette here folds down, makes into a bed. Um, couch here pulls out into a bed. So here you're sleeping six before you even get to the bedroom. Um, so a pretty big family could be pretty dang comfortable in here. Um, nice big counter space on this thing. Um, you have these little built-in guys that pop up, USB ports, plug-ins, but they're out of your way. You're not seeing them until you need them. Um, good storage in your kitchen all the way around. Doubled in stainless steel sink, some storage down below. We have a five cubic foot Norcold two-way fridge, it's gas and electric. Up top is a 15,000 BTU AC unit. Um, like I said, this is the Arctic kind of package, so it's a bigger AC unit. Maybe I didn't say that, it's Arctic package type thing. I don't think they call it that at Jayco, but R13 insulated walls, styrene underbelly, um, where it can. It's a, it's a motor home, so it can't do the whole body of it. Um, but yeah, ducted air, heated tanks, all that fun stuff. A um, Couple of speakers up top too for your head unit up top, that'll play your surround sound. And those speakers also will play surround sound for the TV. Um, here we have controls for our thermos, nothing too exciting, our thermostat, thermos, for our thermostat, nothing too exciting there. Um, good little pantry space by the refrigerator. It is set up for solar. It already has the regulator and everything. It does not have panels on here. So believe it or not, uh, putting panels onto it when it already has this is the easiest part. It's everything that goes along with the panels is normally a lot of work, but this thing's set to go. So if it's something you want to do, it's basically plug and play. Um, three burner Furion stove with our nice little splash guard here. It just sits like so. Uh, microwave convection oven there and you also have, oh pardon me. Pardon me, that is a regular microwave oven, excuse me. But a nice good size one, it tricked me. And then propane conventional oven down below. Um, our bunkhouse, so we're still not in the bedroom yet and we're up to eight sleeping. So um, you got two here, they're kind of a, a twin size bed but good length. Um, about 6'2", 6'3", in, in length. So if you do, if you're, you know, my size, you can sleep up there, no problem. And it does have outlets and cable hookups if you wanted to put a TV or something like that in the bunks. There's hookups on both sides. So um, if you want to spoil little ones or something, you can give them a TV. That's up to you. 
pass through commode um, a pass through I, I really like it. it makes it feel bigger and it's also just more functional getting to the bathroom but really good space in here you got your nice little vanity medicine cabinet um, or a potty here the step potty which is the best kind you know those electric, electric ones are just silly and then big good size shower super tall I'm about 6'3 I can get my arms almost straight up move around I think this was added after you can take this out if you want but kind of nice for soap and things like that but simple but definitely big enough um, I'll meet you on this side and we'll take a look at the bedroom um, as you walk in you do have a pocket door here for privacy and of course you have your regular door um, where's, oh this is the pocket door for this pardon me um, anyway the full size uh, uh, full looks to be about a full size bed um, uh, full length full and then you have the, the your built-ins on either side of the bed with plug-ins so if you're running any kind of uh, machine or anything like that at bedtime you have power to it or if you're just you know charging your phones and we do have a second AC unit in here which is nice it's another 15,000 so it's big big unit um, it's you know that's why it's 50 amp service but it's gonna keep this thing cool and on a day like today I wish I had it going because it's getting hot um, controls for your other thermostat your furnace is just one furnace um, but the fans are separate so you can blow air into one spot um, the AC units on the other hand are two zones so you have two different AC units blowing out of different holes and you can run them both or one or the other um, but definitely gonna help keep it cool in here um, got the nice kind of blackout shades on this thing that'll help keep it cool as well also they look nice and make it so you can sleep in a little bit longer um, good storage up above the bed you sneak around here um, and this is on our slide so this is deeper than it might appear to be when uh, when they're closed so good space in there big built-ins here and all the way up here but tons of storage in these things what's this one more storage and uh, hookups for a TV if you wanted one back here that'd probably be the best place to put it um, again full-size bed I think I just wanted to show this yep good storage under there and i did not realize that 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 door leads to here so it's kind of an indoor outdoor storage very cool very cool literally got this thing today so i'm kind of learning about it with you um let's go back in and why don't you just kind of get a full length of this or a full view of the length of this rig uh, 31 foot jayco red hawk 31f is the model 2800 miles i mean i like i said i can't legally tell you it's brand new but it's pretty new i'll leave it at that um yeah oh I, I didn't show you this it's simple but good to know where they are you would have found out at any point um control panels uh again for the water heater for gas or electric on the water heater for your slide room and for your readouts there um 2.4 hours on the generator i think it's still in that break-in period so uh, oh and this guy if you're wondering this is the trifold style bed i believe let me see no i could be wrong Nope, the scissor bed. Got the scissor bed there with seat belts built in, and you have seat belts in your dinette. Okay, enough of that. All right, thank you guys for checking out the video uh, of this 2022 Jayco Red Hawk. I'm Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. If I left anything out, just give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, let me know what else you want to know about it. Um, but super cool rig. If you're looking at buying something that's brand new, stop and come look at this and see if this is the one you're looking for. I don't see why you'd spend the extra money on something brand new. Um, this is just as new in my opinion so all right guys uh thank you for checking out the video again i'm robbie here at rv sales of oregon and y'all have a nice day